Hello, this is Mr. Plow, and I'm just doing a short video to discuss some of the changes that I'm making um, that I made for Unit 5. Now, in Unit 3 and 4, you had a unit project where you had to compile a bunch of information from the first three lessons of that unit and put it all together in a final project um, in Lesson 4. And that usually consisted of an essay, but some of you have done slideshows and so forth. Uh, but what we're going to do for Unit 5 is switch it around a little bit. I've broken it down into four pieces. So if we cl click on Lesson 1, you'll notice that lesson one is now a timed quiz. Now the quiz is going to be on the actual history of the time period which happens to be Manifest Destiny and Westward Exploration and we're going to look at who, what, and why. Alright, so what that means is you're going to open up some questions. Right here's the link for some questions. I give you the questions for the quiz ahead of time. Um, open those up and then you're going to find your answers by watching these videos. Okay, Pay close attention to each video. No video is more than uh, four minutes, I believe. And um, you'll get all of your answers to the questions. When, when, when you're ready, then you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on the little tab to um, access uh, the video or access the quiz. The little tab is actually missing from my button because I've already clicked on it. Uh, but no big deal. You'll see it when you get down there. Okay, Lesson two. This is the same for as, as before. You're going to watch a video, or I'm sorry, you're going to watch the movie, but you'll notice you're going to have an unlimited uh, quiz on this. So you're going to watch the movie. Um, as you're watching the movie, you're going to take some notes on the film checklist. You're going to use these notes for this lesson and future lessons in this unit. Um, it tells you that you have to make sure that you only have, watch one movie that you can get from the library. You can get it from me if you want. Um, but when you're filling out the film checklist, you're looking for three particular things. The plot, the acting, and the cinematography. You're going to fill out that checklist as you're watching a movie. Right here is your list of movies. Select one, rent it. After you're done watching your movie, uh, and if you need any help analyzing the plot, acting, or cinematography, then you're going to click on these links right below here. Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb are both have movie information. All right. So step four is to enter the quiz when you're ready to answer questions. Since this is unlimited, you can enter this as many times as you want. It's a short essay um, exam. Lesson three, you'll notice once again you have another short assessment. Okay, this is also unlimited. This is you're going to be looking up information on about the movie. Um, I tell you specifically what I'm going to ask you on the quiz. Use the links below to help you research information about your movie. Here's the information you need to find. Um, in step two, I'm going to ask you what you learned about the history of uh, the time period by watching this movie. You might want to refresh using one of these uh, links to find out what exactly uh, the movie was about if it's been a while since you watched it. And then when you're ready, you're going to log in and you're going to take the short quiz. Now in lesson four, where you had typically in the past had a big project, you're not going to have a big project. You're going to have, once again have a, um, a short quiz. And the short quiz is going to question um, the. It's going to have you compare and contrast the actual history of the time period to the movie version of that history. So uh, you'll want to make sure that you've completed lesson one, two, and three prior to coming in here. And then step two is you will construct a theory of how accurate the movie was compared to the actual history of the time period. You'll want to do some research to determine whether the movie was historically accurate. What I recommend is that you use Google and you search a phrase with a phrase like historical accuracy of and then put the name of your movie. If the name of your movie was The Patriot, type in historical accuracy of The Patriot, put it in quotations or, or not, and search for that. You can also use Wikipedia, Rotten Tomatoes, or go back to the videos in Lesson 1 to get your information. You might want to practice answering the questions ahead of time. You can just open up these questions and you can have them with you as you... Um, as you do your research, um, but you still have the option of earning extra credit by completing a creative assignment. So if you don't want to just do the little quiz that's down at the bottom, the compare and co contrast short essay answers, then you can use SlideShare, Zoho, EduBlogs, Blogger, all these different options for completing this assignment. Okay, so we just did a, a review of what lesson five is, or what unit five is. Unit five is a um, broken down into four parts now so that you don't have to do a big project. Hope that this works better for you, and if it does, send me an email letting me know.